All right, today we're going to see if the RTX 4060 can play games in 4K. You heard it here, 4K. I've been wanting to try this for a while, just haven't had the time to do it. Behind me is a 4K TV. It's the only 4K monitor I have in my, my house. TV, monitor, whatever. So I'm going to have to test it out on that. We'll see how it goes. I'm very curious to see if we can hit 30 FPS or higher. So let's see how this goes. So I will be doing this test using my Lenovo ThinkStation P520. Um, if we just take a quick look at the inside here, CPU, Intel, Xeon, W2135, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. I have two GPUs in here right now. On the top is the RTX 4060. On the bottom is the GTX 1070. I actually just picked this card up. Um, the reason it's in here right now, I just wanted to test it to make sure it worked. I just haven't taken it out yet. I'm going to be using it in a different build, but that's the reason for the two GPUs. Um, but yeah, right now we're going to hook this up to the TV and see how it goes. All right, we're going to give this a shot and see what happens. I am powering up the PC right now. Will we get a signal? HDMI 2 is available. Got a little beep there. All right, we are in Windows. Successful mission there. Now, the real test. Let's fire up a game. All right, so testing out Horizon Zero Dawn first. We are in 4K. We're in ultra quality. I'm going to bump that down. We're going to try balanced. We'll do it without any upscaling first. Oh, looks like I had, that was that was a balanced upscaling. So we're gonna go without upscaling to start. Performance FPS is off. We might change that in a little bit. Graphics, we'll just go, sure, original graphics. And let's continue and see what kind of performance we get in 4K with the RTX 4060. Here we go, 4K. We are getting 50 frames per second. And it looks really nice. It looks crisp, clear. Getting close to 60 frames per second here. So, again, this is 4K, no upscaling, original graphics. Let's bump the graphics up to favor quality. See what we get. We got a nice 45 frame per second experience here. I'll tell you what, it looks good in 4K. Wow, this game looks good in 4K. Crisp and clear. Now, I can hear the RTX spinning. It's definitely getting its work cut out for it right now. We're going to go ultimate. Ultimate quality. You can see the, the VRAM doesn't even max out. So it definitely can handle this. And you're getting 42 frames per second. I mean, that's not terrible. Considering a lot of console games, you're getting a 30 frame per second experience. This is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And this is without upscaling, remember? No upscaling. Looks beautiful. Now we're gonna try one more thing. Upscaling. DLSS. We're gonna go quality, and because we're going quality, I'm gonna bump the graphics down to favor per performance. See what that does for us. Look at that. 73 frames per second, ladies and gentlemen. 75, not too many dips. This looks excellent in 4K. The RTX 4060, ladies and gentlemen, 80 frames per second in 4K. Yes, we're using DLSS upscaling, but why wouldn't you use it? You have a 40 series card. If you had a 30 series card, you could use D up. This isn't even frame generation. This is DLSS 2. To me, very playable. But you can see the temperature, 81 degrees Celsius. How long can you play at 4K? Maybe not that long before it starts to overheat. That's probably the highest temperature I've seen it get to so far. But anyway, it can play the game at 4K. Now, if we wanted to bump the heat down, we'd probably do something more reasonable, like we'll leave DLSS on. Maybe we go performance and we limit ourselves to 60. All right, so if we cap it at 60 frames per second, performance, upscale quality, graphics favor performance. The temperatures are more reasonable. We're not cranking that GPU, as you can see, as much. We are getting a little screen tearing, which means maybe we can turn on VSync, if that helps. Looks a little better. And yeah. All right, next up we have Elden Ring, and we are at 4K, medium settings, ray tracing off. I know ray tracing is gonna have problems. 45 FPS, not bad considering it's a 60 FPS cap. It looks choppier than Horizon Zero Dawn did though. We get 53, it's decent frames per second. It definitely feels choppier though. So there's that. It could just be the differences in games and engines and all that stuff. This guy wants to kill me. I'm gonna bump things down to low just to see how that looks. And there we go. If we wanna get 60, 4K, bump things down to low, and it looks quite good. 
This looks very, very good. Absolutely can play Elden Ring in 4K with an RTX 4060. No problems whatsoever. And if we want to completely max this thing out, we'll go ray tracing on. Quality max. What's this going to do to us? It's going to give us a nice 40 frames per second experience, which is not bad at all. Considering what we're playing with, not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. Except I'm having trouble with these spear guys. I can hear the uh, RTX whirring now. 99% usage and 82 degrees, so same as Horizon. If you bump things up to the absolute max, you're going to really work that GPU. So low settings, medium settings, 4K is what you want to go with. Absolutely playable though. So there you have it, the RTX 4060 in 4K. Absolutely can play games in 4K. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you would play games at 4K with the RTX 4060. Was that overkill? Can you consistently play at 4K? Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you all.